This is my new workspace. And this is my latest keyboard in the making. But this video is not about this keyboard. Hear me out. Six months ago I made my first split keyboard. And I said this. Building keyboards can be highly addictive. It turns out I was right. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max and I built another keyboard. A better one. Actually, what I'm about to show you is not really a keyboard. It's more than that. Sure, it can be used as a keyboard. But at its core, it's a modular platform that allows you to choose the best setup for your keys based on your hand's anatomy. This flexible platform allows you to test out different layouts and button positions that will eventually enable you to build the best keyboard for your fingers. And so, I present to you the Morph 32 Split Keyboard, my attempt at a better ergonomy in keyboard design. It all started with the idea that every person has unique hands and I wanted to build a keyboard that will allow each individual to adjust it however he or she desires. After some 3D modeling and 3D printing and testing some variations of my idea, I finally came up with this platform that you can also download and 3D print using the link in the description if you will ever wish to build your own Morph keyboard. It's a huge improvement from the 26 key split keyboard that I built 6 months ago because it allows me to adjust anything I want about it, test it, adjust it again and so on until I'm satisfied with the results. And when it comes to ergonomics, this model truly fits me like a glove. Interesting thing, after adjusting the keyboard based on what feels good to me, I noticed that the right side keys are positioned slightly different than the ones on the left. This platform allowed me to do this. It didn't do much for my typing speed though. To be honest, I haven't really practiced typing lately, but I feel very comfortable doing it. I can set up the best tenting angle for my wrists. I can slide each module back and forth depending on the length of each individual finger, as well as tilt each module or rotate it based on the geometry of my hand. I can adjust and readjust as many times as I want until it feels right. The handrest can also tilt and it acts as a box for fitting the electronics and wiring inside. I haven't yet figured everything out, so take this as a work in progress that you can improve if you wish. The 3D parts for the right side are the same as the ones on the left. They are only positioned in a different manner to accustom the keys the way I wish. But the platform is really like a Lego. You can print and combine the modules however you want in order to get the keyboard you need. Maybe you want more keys. Or maybe you don't want a split keyboard and you have your own project that requires a custom number of keys. But this is up to you, your imagination and skills. The connection between parts is fairly easy. I use some copper wire to connect the pieces together, thus creating a hinge-like binding between moving parts. The key modules I designed are meant to hold two buttons and are mounted onto each slider with a 4mm nut and bolt. They also have holes on each side for the wires. Apart from my first keyboard, the wiring is different. Because I decided to go with 32 keys instead of 26, this keyboard requires the use of diodes and a matrix circuit. And for the same reason, I had to use a different firmware that you can also download using the link in the description. I also used a different electronic board, the ESP32T18TTGO. This one has a built-in battery system. I even made a sleep mode that turns off the keyboard if I don't use it for more than 15 minutes. The sleep mode extended the battery life from 2 days up to 1 or 2 weeks depending on how often I use the keyboard. You can adjust the length of the wires depending on your project. I made the wiring in such a way that I could adjust the keys even after installing the electronics. But you will see that after I finally decided on the best keyboard configuration, I redone all the wiring and also changed the position of the electronics. After figuring out the right setup for the keys based on my own preference, I connected all the button modules together and removed the support platform as well as the handrest. This is why I'm saying that the Morph keyboard is more of a platform than a keyboard. My plan is to build a case around the desired setup. So don't be fooled by the barbecue sticks looking keyboard you see, as this is merely a sketch. I haven't gotten there yet, but my plans are to build a nice looking case around this frame using the same technique I used to make my custom PS4 controller. But that is for another video. And until then, don't forget to like, subscribe and maybe leave me a comment and tell me what you think about my latest keyboard design. Thank you for watching.